Hey everyone, it's Serena from Mayspring answering a frequently asked question today. How much mica powder do you need to color epoxy resin? Well, there is no exact ratio. Instead, it depends on how opaque you want the results to be and on your project size. In this video, we'll show you three different mica to resin ratios so you can better understand how to achieve significantly different opacity levels when coloring clear epoxy resin and how little mica you need to do so. As a rule of thumb, we typically recommend adding up to half a gram of mica powder per one ounce of resin for smaller projects. Since Mayspring micas are highly pigmented, a little bit goes a long way. With the first cup, we'll add just 1 64th of a teaspoon of mica to one ounce of epoxy to create a subtle effect perfect for adding shimmer to a translucent piece and still allowing for quite a bit of light to show through. With the second cup, we'll double the amount of mica powder to 1 32nd of a teaspoon for a darker, more noticeable effect that also shows off this mineral colorant special effects and iridescence. And with the third cup, we'll double again to 1 16th of a teaspoon for a maximum amount of mica powder in one ounce of epoxy resin to achieve a bold, vibrant, and highly opaque effect perfect for creating a cover-up or an eye-catching effect in your epoxy projects. Most importantly though, remember to have fun and experiment with different colors and amounts you like for your projects. Also, be sure to check out our blog article linked in the description below for more info about mica powder to resin ratios, which includes a convenient calculator we've put together that you can bookmark or save so you can easily estimate the amount of mica powder needed for your project depending on the desired finish and project size. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to learn more with Mayspring.